What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In this animation, you're going to make the interior for your factory. Now, um, that's not supposed to be there. I accidentally made a bit of a mistake when I was filling in the floor because I was using commands. That's the end result. Um, I'm going to show you inside. Now, I do want to say that I actually made this two floors at this time. However, I'm only going to show you how to make one. But they are literally the exact same. Here's the bottom floor. I didn't add anything in here. You could add, like, crates and stuff. Barrels, whatever. <coughs> All right, and then... Upstairs, it's literally just the same thing. Except nothing in here. Now, what I would do is I would still put the ceiling in. However, what I'd do is I'd probably add, like, random machines and stuff up here. And also on that floor. That floor, I think, would add... You should add, like tubes or something coming down just kind of to look like they're actually like the smoke is actually coming from somewhere not just there because if you look in at that at this point in time if you look inside you can see that there's it just doesn't go anywhere so that would be my suggestion um so yeah you should have the exterior uh, i did promise an interior however this isn't the greatest Come inside, and for starters, you're going to need white concrete, stone, gl and glowstone. That's really it for right now. Move the glowstone next to your white concrete, though. So, um, I'm going to get out night vision as well, just so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to have, like, 50 messages by the end of this. So this right wall here, you want to place a row of white concrete that is one block away from this wall. So basically, there's like a one block gap and it kind of pops, the garage is kind of in between. If you want to make it just flat with the other wall, you can, however, I personally would like this better. Just because it kind of gives the garage a more flat feeling and you don't really have a necessarily a sense of size. So it's kind of just like that. Also, you can add a tripwire hook here if you'd like. I didn't, but I think... Yeah, you probably shouldn't. Because inside of garages don't have that. Although you could add... I don't know what you could add. You don't really have to do all of it. I'd just say, like... Just to, like, there. That's fine. And then these next couple steps. Alright, so I'm going to tell you a couple steps and you're going to want to do these. I'm going to probably cut it out because, except for the first step, I'll leave that in. So uh, where the white concrete ends and the quartz starts, you want to make a white concrete wall where the white concrete kind of is, just like this. So it should connect to both sides just like that. And then you want to align it. You want to align your garage door into the um into this white concrete wall and you want to basically have that cut out however once you hit the fifth row of white concrete where you're gonna cut across that wants to be the final row that you have to place so the garages are both seven by four right now and then the next row which is the fifth one it wants to go straight across and then that's as far as you need to go up now you want to get out your white concrete and your glowstone and you want to find the middle of the five and block of quartz and you want to place um it actually does not really matter but you just want to place your two by two light pattern i'd start with one white concrete on either side at the for the um left and right sides and then front and back you start with glowstone, and then once you hit the center, it should be, I believe, yeah, you should be on your second glowstone once you hit the center, and then you want to place another one, and then go all the way to the end. My phone is vibrating, don't worry about it. Um, and then you do want to, again, just, like, fill in the roof with this, respectively. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that, and I will be right back. Also, wait, hang on, also do it over here. But then, yeah, I'll be right back.
Alright, so this is what I made the um, roof pattern in the little garage room. It's basically on the front and the back of the build. It's two rows of white, white concrete. And on the right and the left, it's just the two, two, two pattern. However, in the exact center, which is the middle of the door, it's just a one block of white concrete. So it is completely centered. And then again, this one you already kind of saw. But if you wanted to make it one and one, you could make this a one block window. If you made it two and two, it would be, I want to say, three white concrete in the middle. Yeah. The, the rooms don't actually line up. As you can see, the center here is um, skewed towards the front more so. But on uh, the next step, you want to fill in your floor. So basically how I do this is come to the corner, mine down, and then you want to see what your coordinates is. And I take notes because I cannot remember. So it's negative 409, 8, and then 495. Do not type this wrong because that is what happened why it's um kind of all over the place on the left and then here which is negative three eight five that's four eight five that is way wrong negative three eight five eight and then four four six nine and then you want to slash fill and then type in your two coordinates it doesn't matter which one goes first it just matters again it goes x y z for both of them. Negative three, eight, five, eight, and then four, six, nine. And then it wants to be stone. Just like that. So you probably will have to um, mine, in, mine this, and um, you can actually do it in here as well. I, that is what I did. So this one is negative three, eight, three, eight. Four, six, eight. Three, three, eight. Yeah, that's correct. And then this one over here is negative three seven zero oh, eight four nine two. And then you want to do the same thing. So in the doors, the doorway, the doorway, the door, the doorways, and the the like to right along the garage door, you're gonna have to um. Fill that one in yourself. Three, three, eight, four, six, eight, and then negative three, seventy, eight, four, nine, two. And then that also wants to be stone. Just like that. And then fill on these little gaps you have. Yeah, the, um, I did, that's, that's what that problem was, I made the mistake, and I was like, wait, what, why is that not working? But then I realized, oh crap, I typed, a, I reversed two of the numbers on the last one, the hundreds one, which doesn't help. So, um, yeah, created a bit of an issue. But, uh, yeah, once you've done that, this is what you should have. Now we're going to... Basically what the plan is now is we're going to put in the conveyor belts and then I'll give you some ideas for what to put up here. You do not have to put anything up here. You can just wall this section off. But um, yeah, I'll be back in a moment. Alright, so in the bigger room for the conveyor belts, conveyor belts you will need spruce trap doors. Anvils. You don't have to use anvils because they're expensive. You could use something else. You could use um stairs. Probably blackstone stairs. Cyan terracotta. Gray banners. I actually kind of like this part. I like what I did with this. An oak fence. So for the conveyor belts, you want to place um basically I'd say four blocks away from the back wall. And four blocks away from, pretty much four blocks away from every wall. You want to place a line of anvils, just like that. So it's four blocks away from the back, four blocks away from the left, four blocks away from the right. You want to do the same thing at the front. So basically what we just, so basically, um, yeah. You're going to have a big gap in the center, which you want. Place bootstrap doors left and, I guess, front and back of the anvils. 
Now make sure all the anvils are facing the same direction, which would be in a line. Uh, I actually kind of do really like this, because you can kind of see the lines where the anvils split, and then the spruce trap doors just kind of give it like an edge. I was originally going to use grindstones, but there's a huge gap there. Not that there isn't a gap here, there's a gap, but it doesn't look as bad. You're really going to have a gap no matter what with the anvils. But I mean, just like, yeah, like that, it doesn't even look horrible. And then on this side as well. Now, um, two on each conveyor belt will be destroyed. You'll see why in a moment. Probably should have done more than just, um, four blocks, actually. So, alright, so one block away from the end, you want to break the two spruce trap doors, and you want to place cyan terracotta moving out. Bring it out by an additional block, that's why I said we probably should have done more, because there's only two now. And then bring it left by two rows, and then inwards by a row. Do that on both conveyor belts. Uh, you can actually add these, add this on two floors. You can make two floors and add this on both. And, uh, yeah. Then you want to bring the entire section up by two. Just like that. I actually remembered to appear offline today, so that's cool. I always forget, but, you know, I remember it. It doesn't really matter when I stream, though. And then you want to fill in the top with cyan terracotta. Now, you kind of have this weird, um, it looks like a weight, almost. And you want to bring the cyan terracotta outwards, or right and left by a row, at least. So you kind of have, like, a rectangle. And then place a gray banner on those blocks to kind of cover the entrance. So it kind of looks like something goes down in there, even though it's literally nothing special. I don't know, maybe it'll do something, you never know. Now, with the oak fences, you don't have to do this, because this isn't my favorite. But, uh, like, basically a block away, you want to just kind of place four oak fences moving up. Oops, I lost some. And then bring them towards the conveyor belt by two, so inwards, and then down by one. Kind of looks like, um, little, like, arms that go down and, I don't know, like, draw lines or whatever. This kind of gives me Portal vibes, actually. Portal 2, to be more specific. If you've never played Portal, that's a highly recommended game, in my opinion. It's one of my favorite, it's my favorite game of all time, probably, that I've played. As you know, I could say other games, but I haven't played a lot of games, so I'm gonna play a lot. But you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, once you've done that, that's really all. Now, up upstairs, you could really just have like a giant block to have like a machine. However, for this, what I would do is I'd probably continue the um red quartz pattern, and you could even bring it. What you could do is you could even bring it all the way down and kind of have it like poking through here, the ceiling kind of broke a giant hole so basically like something like this except don't have a giant hole in the ceiling because that's not good and it would end on a quartz too which is nice so yeah just kind of like that just so i don't know it looks like something's kind of like poking down but that's that's up to you if you want to or not really again <clears throat> do what you want and up here you can add like machines and stuff extra parts spare parts over here, you don't have to add anything. You can just wall it off and call it a day. You, know, you could add stuff over here if you wanted. Because those windows, you could see, depending on whether or not you decide to block that. Or you could just really just um, take some con or terracotta or concrete or whatever and just kind of... Do that. You don't even have to block them up. That's not a necessity. I actually really like that hole in the ceiling, and I don't know why. Yeah, you could just do that. That looks fine as well. But you could you could remove the smokestacks if you wanted, but I think that's very factory like. But I would say, um, definitely you could definitely bring them down because I think that'd look really cool from like even through those windows as well. But um yeah, once you have done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your factory complete. Um for the truck, I'd say just do like a normal, um, like a Walmart um, truck or whatever, those, like, pickup trucks with the trailers on the back, just something like that, 
I don't think that. I think that would be fine. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Sorry it was short. Um, there's really not much for me to do in this. But, um, yeah, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.